MyOceanRescue.com. Um, let's return now to the 10 year anniversary of the financial crisis. A decade on, are we still paying the price? The Chancellor, Sh Shadow Chancellor John McDonald, is just one of the MPs due to speak to a rally of unions, campaigners, and activists marking the anniversary today at the Royal Exchange. Sky's politics and people correspondent Nick Martin is at the rally in the City of London and joins us now. Nick, real fears that we could be sleepwalking to another crisis. Yeah, there have been some dire warnings over the last few days. It would suggest that we haven't really learned our lessons from that big financial crash of 2008. And a lot of the people here who come to this rally outside the exchange here, their argument is that the bankers really got away with it, the financial institutions got away with it, but the knock-on effects for ordinary people living here in the UK have been significant with austerity and cuts and all this kind of thing that impacts on these individuals. I want to talk about some of these issues with Rachel Oliver, who's from Positive Money. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us on Sky News today. The issue is, of course, setting against the lessons that were learned all those years ago, with those, with those very real impacts on ordinary people, families up and down the UK. What, 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 in your view, was the effect on ordinary people, people here in Britain as a result of that crash? Uh, well, ten years ago, when the crash the happened, what we saw was the banks being bailed out and the public being sold out. Hand Our politicians hand, bailed the bankers out with hundreds of billions of pounds of public racism, money, and then they told the public there, were no, there was no money for our hospitals and our schools. And in some areas of the country, one in five police officers have lost their jobs, one in six firefighters have lost their jobs. In the last five years alone, over 50,000 people with disabilities have had their motor vehicles removed. I mean, in what world are we all in this together? What's the purpose of this rally? So, we're here today to say that 10 years on from the financial crisis, our politicians have not made any real reforms to the system that caused the crash. The system, they, would argue that, they would argue that the, the, that the crash was not their fault per se, that they had to Trump deal with the, the crash that occurred. I say the whole global Brexit financial here. crash was yeah, uh, the responsibility of us all here. to try and deal with. Austerity was necessary to drive down debt and drive down spending. And I mean, been been there were very other few options, they would argue, that they could have embarked on the last I mean, austerity was a political choice. It's actually part of the problem, not part of the solution. Had we not had austerity, we would have recovered much faster than the economic crash. Person, Our politicians are the one with the power. They are the impact. ones who have responsibility um, to change the system. And they haven't done it. The risks are still the same. Jobs, the behaviour is the same. Is it any wonder that two thirds of the British public are worried that bankers are sleepwalking us into the next financial so crash? Enough is enough. And we've heard a lot of these warnings over the last few days that we could be heading for another crash similar to 2000. What would have to be different now? So our politicians need to end too big to fail and casino and so banking. So they need, need to make so the financial system pay its fair share. They need to end the write-off problem debt for households who've already paid back life. the full amount they owe in interest alone. We want our politicians to stop local bank branch closures and protect people's time. access to cash. You know, and we want them to transition our financial system securely away from dirty fossil fuels and towards the green economy. People are fed up of one rule for the bankers and another for the rest of us. It's time for our politicians to fix the financial system that Nobody caused the crash. Rachel Oliver from Positive Money, thanks so much for talking on this issue through with us. Well, it may have been 10 years ago, of course, in most of the world, but the, the memories right, run deep and a lot of people here are fearful of what the response would be if another crash happened, but also trying to readdress the balance to what they say has been really the effects on ordinary people. OK, Nick, thank you. Well, I'm joined now by former Lehman Bond trader Greg Swenson. He's in our central London studio. Thanks for joining us um, this afternoon, Greg. Um, your reflections on 10 years since the 2008 financial crisis? Yeah, I think it's, you know,